question form. Go behind the Iron Curtain USA. Now, it is true, in a free society, you can pick your nutritional products, and you can make your own choices, and you can drink raw milk. But you also, in a free society, you're allowed to make even more controversial choices. You might even decide to drink alcohol. And, uh, and you know, there's a little bit of risk in alcohol, but in a free, truly free society, they tried that alcohol business one time. It didn't work very well. Too many politicians drank alcohol, so they finally repealed that. <laughs> but yes, you would be allowed to make a decision on what kind of, uh, what, what things you smoke and drink or eat or whatever you do your own body. Now, of course the argument is, is what would happen to the world if they had freedom of choice to imbibe drugs and all these dangerous things? Well, why don't you go back and look at early American history up until about 1938 and find out how many people were using these drugs in the 19th century. So once again, it's who gets to make these decisions. But the hardest thing for some people to accept, both liberals and conservatives, on this issue of tolerance of your freedom. Yes, we want you to have your freedom. We want you to make your own choices. And we're not going to tell you that you can't make bad choices. People say, well, doesn't that mean you endorse it? What if people drink too much or smoke too much into making their own choices? Well, there's one rule. They have to assume the consequences of their actions totally and completely. But it is under the pretense of taking care of ourselves that we have this drug war. Our government agencies have been known to be involved in drug trades. Government agents have been involved. The law enforcement agencies have been involved. And guess what? Guess which, which uh, industry would like to see marijuana never legalized? That's the alcohol industry. How about the, how about the drug companies that sell, sell all these uh, tranquilizers, they don't want marijuana legalized either. So there's a lot of special interests that would like to, uh, keep, to keep drugs illegal. But the attack then is on our liberties. That is the important thing. We want our freedoms to make these decisions even when the wrong decisions are made. And there's still some people say, well, no, if it's legal, that means we've endorsed it. No, we don't. We don't endorse it. What about on religion? We're pretty good on religious values. Some people choose no religion. Some people pick, pick different ones, 10, 20, 30, 50 different kinds of religions. But we generally protect that and say that's your own choice. You can make your own choice. We are not judgmental about that.